I talked about a thing that I miss. What did you miss? When you. I was bleeped it out, and now you told me for you free. To You're gonna bleep it out again. Okay, free. I was like, now you bleeped it out for free. My guy, my guy got me. I gotta bleep it out again. So I had an experience last night. Yeah. And I put it in his mouth. You put it in his. The mm-hmm. Was he okay with that? I don't. I don't. You don't think he noticed? We was in the zone. It wasn't. I don't think he. I think he absolutely noticed. Me and Tati said, "Why put is it on that?" Bl- she don't listen. She Why don't is listen. that one little so potent though? Like it, it's it's you, you can taste everything he did that day. No, it's so no, 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 no. <laughs> that's not what I meant. That's, that's disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. You can no. taste everything he did. Potent was the wrong word, y'all. I, I meant the wrong word. Like, when you say potent, I'm thinking like, okay, no, you're, I can you're taste getting, this shit. You're really you're thinking, thinking, you're out of my thinking house. with your dictionary, and I might score up with you if you don't get out quick. Like, <laughs> you're thinking trust. with your dictionary. I said the wrong word. I meant like, why does that one time have such an impact? Like it'd be but so, like, and it's like in your mouth. I can't, I can't just keep going. your mouth. I just can't that long. It was not even long. It was. It not have to be long. Teeny t- but I, I, but you know, like it I was happen like, often when I. It it, it, it could be like happen. eyelash oh. size, but you're gonna feel it. On oh your mouth. Mouth. yeah, you're gonna yeah. feel no, that on your tongue. Go no, no. throat over here was like. <laughs> I I'm never, just saying, like I'll never get. I'm never just having hella. I'm like, I'm like, hair it's not hella. Not hella. I mean, like, it just. Uh, uh, no, I don't know how that came up, Bree. It did, y'all. Come I don't on, see. Y'all. I really don't understand how. You was down wait, there. Wait, wait, and wait. I so <laughs> you guys are saying that you've never been getting. I, and yes, then got yes. Just yeah. Like, you know, I, it's, I, it's, I, it's, I have like, before. Cool. I have before, but like. But you're like, I don't have those issues because I have perfected my crown. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. So what happened? You put it in his mouth. It'd be so mouth. much happening. He just don't feel it. He'd be That's swallowed it already. It <laughs> he just don't feel we it. Just, um, we just, we just kept it going. But I, so this morning I, um, cause one thing I'm going to do is keep my word. Even though Tati did remind me, I didn't say this to y'all, but mm-hmm. I, Asked all of my friends when they think I will have sex again. Because it was starting to be a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all. Um, the people want to know. I'm people. mad that you asked me that. <laughs> Sorry. But I wanna, I'm my curious mind. Well, you can bleep that out, too. No, you don't I'm, know about it's not about that. It's about y'all about to be like, that's not that long. How long was it? Last time. Okay, this is your first last time. Last time was. Yeah, la- okay. yesterday. I uh, You bleep that out for real. Yeah, I, I actually don't. I totally am going to bleep all of it's this out. Much for me too. Uh, so that, but then I, I did it last night and this morning, and um, I forgot to get his consent to talk about this. But we'll, I'll double back. But um, <laughs> that's so great. You didn't say no name. No, no I know. names have been. But said. I do try to. I do try because sometimes niggas will like look at your podcast and up. be like, "You talking about me?" <laughs> yeah. But um, anyway, so I it has been <laughs> since I started asking all my friends. Like, hey, when do you think I'll have sex again? So I, I, I'll show it to you. I put a note in my phone, and I took everybody's answers, and I was just Let's like. Let's see this. So okay. Michael and Tati said Michael, mid-July. Michael, okay. Mid, we are mid-July. And so they won. Mm-hmm. So I so I paid up today. <laughs> be, and, and we I, didn't even bet money. We, we, didn't I know, I just we just said it was I a bet. Like, I love it. I like to give y'all money. Now, who said end of November? <laughs> But if, you, but see, drive, but if you don't, she ain't drive. if you're not super, who did say end of November? Let me see. My, Wait, you don't know her. Oh, oh, okay, I'm like because if no, you don't, okay. no, no, okay. if you it's don't okay. super know, Bri, she was talking like she thought it would be end of November. I thought, I always the way do, she was though. talking, but people that are privy to Bree, so like Brianna. me and Michael, was like, bitch, July. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that's like what nobody, is. nobody's falling for it. Like I nobody, be trying, y'all. I like, be trying to I do it. I thought those definitely periods do are try. really freaky, though. Like, I'm very I, sexual, very and I'm sexual very, and, I, and it's all about chemistry, and we're not going to get into this, because I'm, I'm, I'm not about to give that nigga She doesn't a, overthink. A whole lot. Of, no, She's yeah. spontaneous. You I know, just like, go, go yeah. with the flow, and like, literally, y'all, like, I don't want to talk too much about this, but like, me and him have not been talking literally it's like i was telling them my life in my sexual life i truly do go from one state to a completely different one in an instant mm-hmm. like really went from like i was on the phone with my homegirl all right the other day and i'm like i keep picking up my phone nobody is ever texting me like and it's been like that for what feels like a while now and all of a sudden nobody would have told me no i would not have woke up that day if anybody has tapped me on my fucking knee when i woke up and was like you gonna fuck today i would have been like how how is that but that goes with today's topic 
But you know, it'll change your mind. Yeah. It's not even about Especially changing my romantic mind, though. But you did change your mind. I did change my mind because I were was you, like, like, were you just absent for a reason? No, 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 no. I'm so I am. <laughs> I'm between relationships. Okay. I I just got out of. A, see, this is getting messy. Cause <laughs> no, girl, we need to say that. All you had to say was, "I'm getting them. I'm coming out of a breakup." Out of so she was just going through the yeah. And yeah. yeah. so um, <laughs> that's all there. And I'm I'm also <laughs> not a person. I'm I'm very new to desiring a relationship. Okay. Like, and when I say new, I would say maybe like the last couple of years. I had a breakthrough in therapy, y'all, and I finally was like, okay, maybe I am monogamous. Maybe I do want a traditional relationship. And I do. And so I was with someone, and now we're not together. And with me now having that intention of like, I do want to be with someone, I couldn't really tell if I was going to be like, and those are the circumstances that I'm sticking to. Like, the next time I have sex is going to be with somebody who's like giving me that energy. We're on that path. Or if I was going to, you know, be me and go back to an old reliable mm-hmm. right. and well old not so reliable but that's my guy we still in goofy in a goofy phase because i'm happy yeah. um <laughs> yeah but yeah like literally hadn't talked to that person and then that day just it just escalated immediately it's just like oh what are you doing oh i'm gonna come over oh I'm, let's go get some tequila oh and it's just like oh, now i'm getting my black blown out yes black <laughs> so black blown out I'm sorry that I, I, I feel a little bashful that we're having this conversation, but fuck these niggas. They ain't gonna not that it. nigga. Fuck the niggas that I'm like worried about who will see this and be like, she's fucking someone. They're not, they gotta pay am, to hear it. Am they gotta pay to hear it? Yeah, I know. But anywho, I just wanted to say that I'm a master manifester because we were just talking about me missing in my mouth. And I had some in my mouth. Yeah, that was two <laughs> weeks ago. It was. It's actually such a specific thing. It was very specific. When you brought it up, I was like, this is very specific. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> I was just like, you know what I miss? Yeah. yeah. Like, you know when you You know when you yeah. That was a good, that was a good moment. Um, anyway. Do y'all get people's spaces to change in a romantic relationship? I'm trying. I feel like romantic relationships are totally no. different. I'm trying. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, if somebody is showing you a pattern in yeah. a r- romantic relationship, yeah. it's yeah. not going anywhere. Let's be honest. You can't heal anybody. See? You no, know, I don't care what that jazzy bitch said. That <laughs> Watch jazzy. Oh, uh, we're not bitch talking said. about that. That bitch pissed me off. <laughs> she pissed me off because it's like, you're, up, you're giving this uh, message to these young girls. Yeah. And it's just like. You're doing anal. You don't even like fucking in the ass you don't for like this man. It. Mm. Yeah, it was. It, that was like you cannot heal people. People I have to be ready to heal. Definitely mm. considered sure. bringing that conversation to, to here because I was. I I don't know. I I, I guess that's this like is an something else. Thing. I don't know. What I know it is, it's fine. Guys. We'll talk about it. <laughs> it's, it's, no, you have to see this. Me and Dana no, had a I would long watch. conversation about it afterwards. But like, I guess it's kind of like an empathy thing. I, I feel that. I feel stuff when people say stuff. Like when people are saying things, you can, it's like hold on. I just I react to it almost like physically. And I was like, because I listened to that podcast, so oh. I'm not even looking at the clip. I'm listening to I, right the, the whole actual episode. podcast, and I'm like the whole time I just was like. Yeah. I had like a very skeevy feeling of like it. Yes. It, it really Doesn't gave me. I, right. I don't know if you guys know what we're talking about, but oh, it's right. this video of um this girl. Her name is well. Her name is like Watch Jazzy on yes, Instagram. Jasmine, she started off as Jasmine a comedian. Brown. She's a yeah. comedian and mm-hmm. an actress. She started off as a comedian. She's right. not funny to me, but ooh, ooh, she. I <laughs> saw awesome. her. I, I saw her on this podcast, and she was talking about how she like lovers and friends with Shambu. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was talking about how she like cares for um, Cam Newton is actually the man. Is that who it is? It's Cam. Newton. I saw that on Twitter, and I'm like, who is her nigga? It's, it's Cam. Cam. Newton. It's Cam Newton. How she cares for him, and he's so Let spoiled, me. and she's getting fucked that. in the ass, and she doesn't even like it. Yeah. So I, I really want. She wh- said, "I don't like yes. it." Yeah. She said it. She huh. said Women she are out here doing things for men that they don't even like. You're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah, it was an uncomfortable ride. Like, just hearing her, especially, so one of the things that made me the most uncomfortable is that I try to be so open, and so I try to challenge myself to understand, like, you don't know everything, like, hear everybody's story, because you don't know. Mm-hmm. And it went exactly where my subconscious saw it going, and I it broke my heart, because, well, it's out. I'm not airing any of her mm-hmm. business, but she talked, the things that she was saying about the dynamics of her relationship like, it was like nails on the chalkboard. To like, my oh, ears. he's so spoiled. Girl, what about She's you? In the, those things was rubbing me the wrong way. But then you get a little deeper in the oh, conversation. Wait, the girl in that interview is the watch 
jazz. Yeah. Jazz. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Same person. So you Good get God. a little deeper <laughs> into the conversation, and she dis- she discloses that she's had some sexual trauma and some. And I I hate that. I ha- in that moment I hated that because I didn't want it to be that. I wanted it to just be like. I don't have to understand this. This girl knows who she is. Right. She's secure. But it's always deeper. But then it comes it's to that, deeper. and I'm like, now I'm looking at you like, girl, you're a victim. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a pattern that you haven't gotten out of, but this is not a judgment. And I, that's why I hate these conversations. But it, I hated how uncomfortable that conversation made for me because I, I liken myself to a submissive to a certain extent, mm-hmm. but... There is no such thing. I don't believe in pouring out of a half-empty cup. And when the questions started turning on her as far as, like, um, I don't even think that she asked her, like, what does he do for you? I think he asked her when she was saying, like, I know him like the back of my hand. She da-da-da. asked her, does he know she, you like that? Yeah, she, right. was, she right. was like, does he? She, and, no, she said, like, I get an A+. Plus right. And she him. was like, and what would does you get, get an a give plus him? You? And right. the hesitation. Right. And then, like, she, she ended up leading to, no, I think so. But the, before, it was like, mm, but she followed also like, but I make it easy right. to love me and to know she, me. Yeah, because she, that's what's wrong with women Be- though. And she's like, also astonished with Sham Booty saying that she she vocalizes to her husband what she wants and needs. And Jazzy was like, you say that to him? And I was like, oh that's my God. That's so fucked up, bro. I haven't that seen that so fucked in, up. So she but that's was what's wrong with women though. They, they compromise too much. She tells her husband what she wants. Yes, Sham Booty was telling her, because, and I, I love Sham Booty and I love that Sham Booty really like, I love anybody who you could tell, like, this person just knows who they are. And Shambuti has a really, really good way of being unbiased and being inquisitive, really but does. also but also making her stance clear. She like she's does. like, I she's like making it clear. I am nothing like that. I cannot even imagine like being that type of bitch to my husband. And one of the things that she did say was like, we talk very openly about each other's wants and needs. And I make sure that my needs are met. Like that is a priority for me. And Jazz was like you say that to him? Like, you wow. ask him? That's scary. That mm-hmm. stuff? And I was like, I can't imagine calling myself, like, saying about myself, I do everything. And that's what she said. She was just like, what, are, what, like what, what type of thing? What do you mean when you say, like, you cater to him? She said everything. I do everything. Mm-hmm. And... Um, even anal. and then for you to like follow oh, that, even anal. and anal was for some people. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but my problem with her saying she that didn't she like does, it. Exactly. She said she that she does not doesn't like it. Oh, wow. She said that like she you does have to bust your rectum him. open for this man, and you don't even like it. And I understand there are certain there are certain there are certain forms of compromise where it's like, but anal is not used, on my list. No, I used to be with a nigga who was really really into comic books, so I'm gonna humor you in some comic book conversations sometimes, even though I don't read that shit. That's compromise, right. but. I'm not doing anything that I genuinely do not like and genuinely is not aligned with me and my body. Right. Like my body doesn't like this. And I feel, and that goes for anything. That's like a very specific and like true reason. Like that's a physical act. But even if it was like, he always wants to go bobsledding and I get anxious in my chest and I don't like it and I'm uncomfortable. That's not, that's not in alignment with my body. I don't want to do that shit. And I'm not going to just because I'm not going to, but just in, in spite of how I feel about it, to please Especially a nigga. Especially when this isn't a situation where this goes both ways. And it doesn't. It's different and if it don't even sound like I it's take these type of L's because I know you do the same for me. Right. Like, that's right. different when it's like, I, but I do that and I hate it, but I know he's going to do this and he hate You know right. what I mean? It's, right. it's right. at least different if it's being... 50-50. Like if it's reciprocated. And, and that's it, why I'm yeah. That whole interview gave me, like, she's pouring she so anything. much. Yeah, she, she's pouring. And she right. doesn't. Yeah. She does, and but that's, that we know that's a lie. lie. As women sitting here on this couch, mm-hmm. we know that's a lie when she says she doesn't need anything and she just gives them all. She, she and her love is her super, superpower. She's believing that her fulfillment is his enjoyment. Mm-hmm. Come right. on. Like, that is her fulfillment. That is her, like, all he needs to do is be happy and then I'm happy. And it's like, that's not how that works. That's not how it works at all because at the end of the day, we're all in individuals exactly. and we all have wants and needs and like yeah. you cannot just and continue to pour into somebody exactly. and do an anal for them when you don't even enjoy don't it like i love that. how we're That's fixated so, on anal because <laughs> it just blo- it, it just blows my mind like nothing's <laughs> wrong with anal like no, don't get me wrong of course not. but it just blows my mind that, that she's, you don't like it you yes, don't I'm saying. like, like it. you're doing it and you don't like it and i just want uh, like i just always preach to like women like don't yeah. do anything that you're uncomfortable with bro. it was very yeah. uncomfortable it's crazy because when i when i first saw it and saw it like pop up and like 
like initially I'm looking at it like like you said I think a lot of women have like a bit of you know submissiveness in them or like somebody Compromise. may see the title and think like oh that's me right you know like but you may you just hear it think all like oh like, I love catering to right. my man like I love cooking his dinner and right. washing his clothes you know you when at first glance, I looked at it like, what is the big deal? Right. Like, what is this even about? And then you, you listen to it and you're like, oh. The biggest thing. It's giving though, mommy. Like, it's giving, yeah, like, I'm going to tuck my baby in that bed. Like, Literally, she that's, said she it's, rubs It's not even sleep. submissive energy to me, personally. It's, it's giving dominant energy because mm. you're acting like his mm. mom mm -hmm. at the end of the day. You're the like, caretaker. You're the caretaker. You're taking care of this nigga. One like of the, One of the, the other things that really threw me off. You're the head off, of the household. You're the head of the fucking household. And one of the things that really threw me off in the conversation, too, and because I had a, a, a conversation, that conversation expanded. Me and a friend of mine, we had a, a back and forth, like a little debate about it. And I was like, I want women to stop being tricked into believing <clears throat> that money is an equivalent to those things. Like that, like, well, he pays all the bills, so I do everything. That's insane. That's fucking crazy. Like, it, I'm not saying that it's not of value to have a nigga, like, I love when I hear bitches say like, "Girl, I don't need, I don't even see bills." Like, I that's not a thing I think about. None of that shit is in mind. Like, I love hearing bitches say that because go off. Like, I love that. Right. But however, but you also are saying that, and my nigga doesn't know what I want and like and need. Yeah, that's, that's fucked up. What? Yeah, that's that fine. shouldn't be allowed. I don't give and a I, fuck. It, it makes me fuck. think about, and I hate to bring up these hoes, but. Ooh. Kim Kardashian. Oh, Why did I know you were about to say the Kardashians? I know it too. I know it too. Bring down these hoes. Too. I was like, oh, Kardashian. here we go. But it was a clip of her saying like, yeah, Kanye does like the big things for me. Like he does like these grand gestures for me and like buys mm, me all mm -hmm. of these flowers and like how people come and sing to me and, and like things oh, like that. Yeah. But it's just like, you know, like she was like, like he doesn't do the little things. <laughs> And like right. at the end of the day, that and that's the yes. problem. Yeah, that's yeah. the motherfucking yeah. problem. Yeah, like, we all know. Like even dealing with somebody or being in a relationship with them, like what really matters is like the yeah. little things. That's like, what's gonna do it. That's what's gonna the do the little, little things. How my day time. went, or yeah. like yeah. what? What's my favorite movie, yeah. bro? And at the end, she said it. And the thing that she talked about, she was like, I know. She was like, I know, I'm never gonna have this again. She was like, I know, I'm never gonna meet another person. But she was okay to sacrifice that. Things and does things the way it's never gonna be big like this again. And she was like, but. I just want to watch, like, Netflix shows with somebody. And exactly. You know, and I feel like that's, that's what it boils down to. Me. A nigga <laughs> can have all the money in the world. Exactly. I've, de I've dealt with men who have had money. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But it's just like, at the end of the day, that's only you're not feeding so my so interests, my personality, right. the things that I like, like, the small things, like watching Netflix and documentaries and things like that. Like, yeah. if you can't feed those small things, there's no way it's you no even feed the bigger things and to that me, whole, personally. And like, to me, that's that whole, like, yeah. the man, like, makes the money and, like, you take care of the household, I see nothing wrong with that setup. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that that's, like, a, a, perf a fine mm -hmm. way to live your life. But, like, kind of Brie was saying, women have gotten that completely misconstrued. Exactly. The whole him paying the bills and you taking care of the household, it's just that. That doesn't mean that now that man just gets to be a body in the house. Right. Like, yeah. he is or even gets to be a hoe. And don't, Feeding Why do you, women like think, said, like, oh, because this man has so much money, he gets to be a hoe? No. Yeah, like, you are still a that. That. Those are participant also... in our relationship right. and in our right. household. Your only job is not just paying, but just like me, like, just as a wife up. or as a right. girlfriend, my only job cannot just be I wash clothes and cook dinner. You are expecting something else Emotional needs. You are not just expecting emotional support. support. At the end, the end of the house, day, we are humans, right. and we yeah, have like, emotional needs. Yeah, like, you And those are too tangible. So me taking care of the household and you being the person that pays for the households, those are two tangibles. All the intangibles should be equal. Yeah, yeah. they like should those be the are same. Just our, Literally, like on paper, our Literally jobs. It. You're I love saying, the points that y'all just made. Like, and this is what I do for work. So for true. Exactly. Exactly. So true. But we still have to come together mentally and emotionally, like and right. physically, yeah. in right. between. Right. Yep. <laughs> because you that. can make all the money in the world, but it's just like, is your dick? Yeah. Like, am I gonna be pleased in the bedroom? Is, is are my emotional home? needs is gonna your be dick fed? Gonna be home, first of all, do we, are we are we gonna are, are, we, gonna, do we, talk? are we able to have conversations, deep yeah, conversations that actually did feeds my mental space? Did y'all listen to Brent Fires' album? Not a little yet. bit. A little Not bit. Yet. I listened to a little bit of it. No. Okay, so I'm. Uh, this isn't like a spoiler, but um, there's a skit in the beginning that was crazy it's to a me. Toxic skit. Yeah, the I think it's the egomaniac one. Okay. So, um, I'm about to saying? I'm about to butcher it, but basically, like you, they're having dinner, and um, he notices on her face, obviously, that she has an attitude or something. He's like, "What's what's wrong?" 
and she's like, um, she's she tells him what's wrong. She's like, I, I feel so alone, and I'm about to have a baby by you, and you said I wouldn't have to worry about this, and da 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 And then his phone rings, so he doesn't respond at all. He gets a, a notification on his phone. He tends to his phone. She says, you can respond to every bitch but the one that's carrying your baby. Oh. And he was like, man, it's not even a bitch. I'm finna go, though. I'll see you tomorrow night. I love you. Love you, baby. Like, to her stomach, it sounded like. And then just left. And I was like, I can't fucking imagine looking a nigga, not just a nigga, my nigga. <laughs> you, we go together. We together. I'm about to have your baby. Looking a nigga in his face and expressing my emotional needs to him and getting absolutely no response. Getting nothing. But let's talk in about that. In front of my face? Let's talk about that because are, are men emotionally stunted? Like, I, I, the emotional intelligence for men is just not quite there yeah. for me and my personal experiences. For and, sure. and, and experiences that I've heard from women. Like, yeah. men are not emotionally there. Yes. Like, they don't understand don't, their own emotions. So mm-hmm. there's no way they can understand I more. have had, I, so there's a, a guy that I've dealt with who I used to get so fucking frustrated because I would say something emotional. And he would be like, what do you want me to do? And after a certain amount of time of what do you want me to do, you're not doing it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, like, mm-hmm. I used to get, fr- that used to be, like, a trigger for me. Every mm-hmm. time I would be expressing mm-hmm. something to him, and then he would be like, Brie, what you want me to do? I don't know what you want me to do. What do you want me to do? And I used to think that that was, like, cold and careless. And But it's like, it's a response. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, to imagine me saying in front of a nigga's face, like, I feel alone. You promised that I wouldn't have to go through this, and I'm going through this. No, he said nothing. No. I almost, like, I, so. So triggered. I had to, like, Eat my words a little bit because I have said out loud to many people I don't like Brent Fias. His music is triggering. I don't like it, but I think that it's triggering because it's very honest. Mm-hmm. It's very reflective of some of our um, of some of our pain points as women in in, in dating and relationships. Mm-hmm. And it used to really trigger me. So I I didn't like how I, I felt in my body when I heard his music. And I was like I don't listen to him. And when the album came out, I guess it was like a, a week ago. I was like, I don't want to be the old bitch. You know, like, I don't want to be that old, bitter, like, like how my daddy is like a huge hip hop head and he don't, he just has no, like, I don't listen to that shit. It's like, well, just see, you know? <laughs> so I don't want to mm-hmm. be the old bitch in the room being like, I don't listen to Brent Fias. So I was like, I'll, I'll give it a listen. Actually loved it. I've I heard been everybody playing said it, it really good. ever mm. since. Like, I never need to hear none of those skits again. Let's be clear. Right. There's three. Never need to hear them again. Hope I don't. But I listen to, I, I, and I, it's, you know how much I know I like it, which is why I'm saying I'm eating my words. I usually listen to new music and I extract what I like and put them in playlists and stuff. I just let his shit play. I just press play. I just oh, go girl. to the album and press play. And I the skip, I, I skip the skits. And I think <laughs> that I'm in a space now where I can just appreciate, um, I can ex- appreciate the authenticity of his experience. And I'm learning to not connect myself to it because that's what was triggering me me feeling like wow nigga did that to me a nigga said that to me Mm -hmm. like kind of like back on like the like men not having like the emotional depth Mm -hmm. and like maturity that like women have but like we've talked about this on the show before how women also need to hold themselves more accountable like a lot of these times you see these characteristics in this man in the beginning you know like you know but you may be blinded by if if first of all if he do got money you know, in the beginning, you're you are excited about goofy. the trips and the gifts, and you know, so Even you you sex. giving passes, right? Yeah. You're giving passes wow. for the either. things that he lacks right. because you're happy. Or sometimes it don't even be none of that. Sometimes you can just really like him, so you're giving him passes yeah. for all the things that he lacks or whatever. But then now you're pregnant. You know, or you fall into this scenario where it's right. like, now I can't ignore it. And now you're mad at him for not being a person that he never, never was. was. He never You know, was. so it's like, in, in a sense, he has, I understand a man's standpoint in, though, in that specific scenario if he's looking at you like you're crazy. Right. Because he's like, I'm doing when the same do shit I've been mm-hmm. doing. Like, but that's we've why been I'm operating in this, in this frame this whole time. So it's like, why are you mad? Yeah. If you want to talk about it, you know, he should have the capability to talk about it. But mm-hmm. it's like, like, if you want to talk about it, we can talk about it. But why are you mad? Right. Because I've always thrown money at you and then said, yeah. I got to go. Yeah. Right. I've always Ooh. done that. But I, that's so, like, always done so, that. Like, some time ago on this show, too, I used to always say, like, when I was coming up, like, I miss finesse a little bit. Like, when I was coming up, when I was growing up and I would hear the conversations that my uncles mm-hmm. and my brothers were having, niggas would play the game. Niggas would be like, I want this bitch. I want her. I want to fuck her or whatever. 
And I see that bitch like flowers and shit. I'm finna just do that shit until she let me hit. And like, that's disgusting and manipulative. It <laughs> is. It is. But, there's, but, there's, but it's like a weird sense of like effort into it. And I, I think I have a rejection complex, to be honest. And I think that what triggers me so the most reflection. with these niggas Woo. is it's like, I'm not worth the effort. Like, yeah. you, could, you couldn't just, like, be cool, like, right now, like, Literally. in this second. Like, th- like this little interaction we're having, you couldn't just be, like, a nice guy. Yeah. But, so, like, you just, niggas just be out yeah. here. Like, it's like when you watch all be... the, like, 90s, like, sitcoms and movies and stuff. Like, even when a nigga was, like, a player, even if it was, like, clear as that He still took care of his women, he, though. And he tried. Like, exactly. you said, he put I'm going to do what these bitches want because I'm think, a player. I think was, that's a lost tradition, though. That's a lost tradition. But that's what I thought. He may not call her the next day, but he still put in the work. That's exactly what I thought. Because he understood I'm not going to get her if I don't do that. That's exactly what I thought. A, a player was, and that yeah. meant a lot to me. I'm like, these niggas not player no more. They're not smooth. But I also, I also think that I, this may be controversial, but I think that bitches are to blame. To be honest, they it's are too many bitches out they here. Are. Not bitches. It's what women know. accept. Exactly. Yeah. And they make that it's too many of a comfortable them. space for men. From a man's standpoint, it's like, why do I have to do the heavy lifting? And this sex. bitch let me fuck for free. She right. didn't I didn't have to do nothing for her. If but that's you, all I'm looking for, if all I want right. is sex, why would I take you out? Why right. would I do that when I can just go find the next girl? Bitch that, that doesn't let me fuck for no, nothing. Exactly. She yeah. like, she for a text. You fucking fuck the text man for text. For a good morning text. Exactly. Like, no, my but man. You're an audience member. A good morning text. <laughs> no, but a, a nigga is like, this bitch up here don't know that I don't know the difference between the almanac and the dictionary. And bitch, you want me to talk and shit. Like, you doing too much. Like, niggas. Ooh, I'm here niggas, to fuck. And, and like, I really crazy. wish, like, man would just, like, I understand what you're saying. Like, I wish I that man would just, this. like, up front with they shit. Like, they, you, don't they do you don't have to manipulate. You don't have to manipulate. But they do. I feel like they be too upfront now. Now they be too upfront Because it's like, sometimes I be, you know, I'll have interactions with niggas and I'll be like, you want some pussy or no? Because it don't seem like you do. Like, but it it's don't... not too upfront because now you but now I'm, you can I, get out the jam. And now, I and I should now, be grateful for yeah, that. Yeah, now but you can. It's it's a it's a lonelier life. It's yeah, very lonely it is. because now you find yourself cutting off every single nigga you meet. You I be looking at my off. pussy like I'm sorry. Dang. I be but, looking at my pussy like I'm sorry, bro. I thought like, this. Still hold on, I be looking at my pussy like we don't like him no more. Yeah, like, we, no, gotta pussy. Pussy. we gotta move it's on, done. pussy. <laughs> but it's still like, but you know what's for going real. on. There's no fooling yourself. No, so it's like, pussy pussy you, but let's let's talk about this for a second. Let's talk about this for a second. But why are women okay? And I won't say it's me because I've had my lessons with men in my younger twenties. Like I'm not. First of all, I'm not going ever that route again. But why do why do women sit there? Like you said, like mm-hmm. you said, like you've seen the signs in this man. Yeah. You've seen this, you've seen that. But why do we trick ourselves into believing like, oh, maybe he's different or it's he's going to. the gonna, fucking healing complex. Well, the fucking save a nigga complex. We think, like, we think we can fix we everything. We think we're different. We think we are the ones that are going to fix this man. My yeah. presence alone, the more time I spend with him, the more we have sex, the more I like. Come on. He's going gonna, to gonna come around. And like, that don't be a kind. Con- because I've been that bitch. And I can tell you, that's not a conscious thought. I'm never just out loud being like, but that's I'm going to keep doing naturally, this. Because women are naturally yeah. nurturing so people. We're naturally nurturing people and we who compromise. To. We yeah. compromise. Especially if we like a nigga. And it's like, I have liked a nigga as a person. But your patterns and your behavior suck. But you, as a person, who your character, who I, we share values and things like that. And I'll be like, I want to take care of this nigga. Every time this nigga's around me, I'm going to tell him. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hit him up and let him know I cook. I'm going to hit him up and tell him, come get a plate. I'm going to get him some pussy. Like, I just I'm at the point in my life right now, Bree and Miss Tati and mm-hmm. Michael in the back. <laughs> I'm at the point in my life right now where I'm just like, I'm chilling. And like. I'm attracting things. I'm not chasing anymore. Yes, yeah. I'm not trying to be yes. the woman that's going to fix everything or make the effort to be like, what's going on in our relationship or what's going on? Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it no more. I'm not y'all. either. And I'm I think not it's doing hard. it. Unless it's I think mutual. another reason women exactly. overlook those red flags too is I think it's hard for us. How you said you have like a rejection I do. complex thing. I think it's hard for us to I have accept that. That we could be that into somebody, yeah. and it's not mutual. Come that on. is the one. You'll compete. You like you That's can the see one. the signs, but you're thinking to yourself. Women like, have a hard no time way. with rejection. Let's There's talk about no that. way that I. It's like God. Why would you, you even allow much? me to like somebody yeah, this much? And you don't, don't care. Want me. But you women don't have a hard time with rejection like, naturally. It's difficult. Naturally, yeah. it's hard. like. 
if a man doesn't want because we're not you, that accustomed to it. We're not accustomed to it because niggas men always want us. Men it don't matter. It don't matter what you look like as a woman. Personally, I feel like this. It don't For matter real. what you look look like as a woman. How you look, how you carry yourself. Niggas Somebody's gonna want to fuck you or want to you know court you or whatever. Yep. But women have an extremely hard time with being rejected by men. Yeah. And it's like sometimes you got to eat that shit. But we and, have to. But we also have is. to think about the culture, too. Like, when you think about it's, it's so there are certain things in the patri- patriarchy that that. Well, I don't want to say they work, but there are certain things in the patriarchy that build build a man up in a way that women are not built up. Women are, when we are little girls, it is much more acceptable for us to be disappointed, sad, for us to show those things, for us to show our emotions. Men are taught, suck that shit up. So they're saying they're saying that shit as little boys. Then you get older, and me and I'm a boy. I'm in seventh grade, and me and my group of friends, somebody dare me to go touch somebody's booty, and that bitch be like, "Bitch, I wouldn't. You better not fucking touch me." They start getting rejection. It's early, yeah. Mm-hmm. Girls don't have that same experience coming mm-hmm. up. So mm-hmm. by the time we get to a certain point, a lot of times our first experience with rejection is unrequited love, and yes. it's like, and we be like, "How did we get here?" Right. I never had this issue. Right. I like, I never had to deal with this. But I want to go back to like what Tati was saying, mm-hmm. like, and this what you said was so valuable. Like, women need to see those red flags. Yeah, but they. That's like what it is. Mm-hmm. Don't try to confuse yourself and be like, oh, maybe yes. he's having a bad day. Or no. maybe mm-hmm. he's like, he has mom trauma. No, bitch. Uh-huh. No. That's what the fuck it is. That's and who run. he is. Yeah. That's who he is. And run. Yeah. And run. Run far yeah. as you can. Like, and, and, <laughs> or, and you or, can't get caught up in sometimes... You'll be the man that like has an excuse for everything, and yep. sometimes those excuses will pan out. So you'll keep it. You'll be like, okay, he actually was tired that day, or he actually was this. But if the problem, man, having not dealt with some up, shit like this, it's like it doesn't even matter. Right. It doesn't matter if he has a and it starts to be like excuse. this, and yeah, because it's like it's still him. Yes. This yes. is still your constant experience with, with him. him. So it doesn't matter if he can explain it to you today. Yes. It doesn't matter if he can give you a reason for everything. Every time you look, and then up, I want us to talk your about your feelings are hurt. Exactly. So I'll stop. Want, there you go. <laughs> I want us to talk about how, like, okay, when we experience emotions. Right, mm-hmm. and we need to be like, okay, this is the emotion I'm experiencing. We need to sit back for yeah. a second and be like, okay, this is the emotion I'm experiencing. Yep. Who made me feel this way? Yep. Why do I feel this way? Yep. Mm-hmm. And like, like I was saying, like emotions are information. Like they we have to be pay attention to uh, pay attention to how we're feeling yep. and who is responsible for those feelings. Yep. Like at the end of the day, yes, our emotions are ours, and we're we're automatically responsible for them. Yeah. But who triggered those emotions in And you? that matters. And it's really At important. Start. A lot yes. of times too, and I and I had to learn this in therapy too, because I'm a very intense girl. And when I was younger, and I think I still have this tendency now that I'm older, I used to think that all of that shaking up anxiety and stuff meant like, oh this is real. I'm nervous. I'm like Jittery, I can't get it together. But that's and it's your like body, you don't that's feel your body's safe. Response. You yeah. don't feel to not safe. feeling safe. And you don't and, and there's 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 security in routine and you know we want to be spontaneous and we want it to be in like like the movies, but there's security and safety in someone doing what they said they were gonna do. And there's security that, I, in a so routine. It's so funny with because somebody. I've had relationships where I'm like, Oh, I just feel like it's one sided, On I feel so unsafe. Mm-hmm. And then you'll meet a person. And they're so responsive to you. Yep. They're showing up for you. They're present. And it's like, what's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, wh- and we you're like, what is this? That. Yeah. You're what not is ready this? For what do you I doing? feel like I have the opposite reaction. Mm-hmm. Like, if I, you know, if I meet a person that's doing all the right things and treating me the right way, because I'm responding to them differently than I've responded to niggas in the past because I'm feeling safe and happy. Right. I'm talking to myself like, what's wrong with you? Right. Like, who are you? Right. Because I don't know that version of myself. I am a, you know, oh. I've always been a super, you know, like, nonchalant, chill, yeah. kind of like, not emotionless, but I'm just like, I'm chilling. like all Even right. kills. Yeah, so when, you know, Killed. I meet somebody that makes me feel safe and makes me feel all the things and next thing I know, you know, I want to see you all the time. You know, I want to cuddle. I want to do all this shit Are that you I emotionally that unavailable? I thought, no, I don't think so. I don't think you are. No, okay. I don't think so. I think I just that think you I are. thought that me as a dating person was just a very like 
you know, just hands off. Like, I, like I don't. It is you what know, it is. Yeah, like I, okay, I don't. Like I don't got to. I don't got to see you every day. I don't okay. have to be around you like that. You know, I don't. Right. I don't need a lot of constant affection. I don't got to talk to you every day. Like, but a lot of that was just my response to feeling These like niggas. a nigga wouldn't be there yes. for me in the first place. Yes. Right. But then Ooh, when I meet okay. somebody that is there for me, and now all of a sudden I'm super affectionate. Yeah. I'm so, you know, like yeah, I'm doing yeah. all these things. And that's how I had to talk be. to myself and be like, wait, who are you? Like, <laughs> like you've Personally, never acted like changed. this a day in your life. Like, what is going I on? I think I'm emotionally unavailable, y'all. Why? I, Pray I, for me. It's okay. <laughs> it's a journey. Yeah, me because too. I'm just like, I don't know if it's been like, because I have, I'm talking to this dude right now. Shout out to that dude. Shout out to that nigga. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he's so like responsive and is I mean responsive to me and like yeah. always just there and like supporting me yeah, and things sure. like that. Yes. For sure. And it's just like I'm like a little taken aback by it. Mm-hmm. Like because I'm I just left a toxic ass yeah. situation I was dealing with. So I'm mm-hmm. not used to somebody just always just being there for me. Yes. Type of thing. And it, it makes me feel like I cannot be there for him. I cannot give him what he's giving. What he exactly? Oh. Like I mean, because you're just not ready. You're not ready. Okay. You may not be healed yeah. all the way. So and I think it it's is. Okay. Yeah. As as I'm not done healing. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're being transparent, I don't think there's anything wrong with it because we Absolutely. all have. Like, we all have to continue to grow, like, through mm-hmm. our journeys. And depending on where we've been, some of that growth takes a little longer than others, or it takes a little more work, or it takes a little more effort. And I, I feel similarly. And I, I, I don't really see it in actual action. I see it in the inaction. Mm-hmm. Because I feel so aligned with spirit, like, you know, how, however you refer um, God and the universe and everything, I feel so aligned that when I do be having moments of, like, loneliness and stuff, I understand that everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. I'm not prepared yeah. Go ahead. for the things that sometimes I'm seeking out. And so I right, trust right. the process. And every moment that I'm in, I know... Every space I'm in, I know I'm absolutely supposed to be there. Damn. And whether I feel prepared or not, I'm like, well, I'm here for a reason. And Ooh, even, and even if I'm, that. Even if I'm unprepared. That. I that <laughs> I, this whole conversation. For real, like. Yeah. Y'all have really I gotten it together. Okay, but <laughs> it's, it's true because I think that, like, you, you ask, like, do I feel like I'm emotionally uh-huh. unavailable? And I don't think that, but I no. think that that's because, I mean, I'm a drastic example of this. But when I'm in between relationships, you know, I take very long spurts of, yeah. a, of aloneness and like being by myself. She definitely. You know, and she'll like, be fucking I'll be, or nothing. I'll be what's, a, what's a long spurt? Oh, I was celibate for like three years. Yeah, okay. she takes. You know, like, oh wait, 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 pause. She take a long time. Well, let's get a death stare to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You got to put that very you said three years. Three years. Three years of no fucking. None. Do you masturbate? She don't. No. She don't. She don't. She don't. We, oh! be, we be her business. Yeah. She don't. Ah! So we be trying. We be in her business. <laughs> Me and Brett will be like, but what? No, no, no. I'm a She's very good example yeah, of you that. are. I love that but you know that. Taking the time to heal <laughs> is what allows you to be ready when the right person like does yes. come. Like, but I love I that. I love that you said that because okay, you spent three years. <laughs> being, you spent three years being celibate. What what did you do in that time frame? I mean, I, at, also at that same time, I had had my daughter. So uh, it was okay. like I had my daughter. Me and her father broke up very early on, like in her life, and so I think that I was so. It's a lot wrapped up into this. I was dis- I was disappointed in myself for like being in the scenario. Right. Like I was, you know, mad at him for not being who he was. And then I was also I didn't mm. want to date. Okay. Like I wasn't like you I just had I just a lot didn't of healing want to get. Yeah. Like yeah. I was she very was just like you know process. what? Yeah. Like this is where you're at, and this yep. is this the space that you're in. So we're gonna be here. Yes. We're gonna focus on this. You know what? We're I watched more. You just this, said exactly what word. Lauren London said. I had just watched so that crazy. too. So crazy. I just watched it last night. I had night. just watched that. And she was just like, it. so I'm good. in an ego death right now. Yeah. Like yes. I'm dealing with some real healing shit right now. Why the fuck would I allow somebody else into my space to see that or to even? Mm-hmm. Want to be in the space right. with me while I'm you dealing with love. exactly right. while I'm yeah. dealing with an ego death, and I, right. that really just reminded me of that conversation. Mm-hmm. I love that you took the time to really heal. Yeah, and I think people don't do that. And I it's think true. that yeah. people yeah. just move on to the next dick, the next pussy, it's and true. they want to. They want they keep <laughs> they keep doing this. 
Yes, it's me. That. I'm people. Keep doing You're that. not people. No, no. I, I, I lately I haven't I been have though. So much lately people. I have yeah. not. <laughs> for real, like you're really that I girl. Like, I'm really like I'm drastic. Girl. Like she when I, I don't be saying, I don't be trying to tell people like be celibate for three years and no does for you. Like I'm a drastic version of that. But just whatever your time period is. Take that time that. because then when you meet the right person, whether even if you, it's new to you or you're like you're not gonna be opposed to it, right? right. You'll be ready, right? And, right. Like, something and like in you your told mind me, like, is gonna I'm, be like, okay, I know I'm not you know. ready. Like I've dealt with some, I still got trauma you know that yourself. I have not dealt with. Yeah, yeah. From you know past relationships, not even the last thing I was just with, like yeah. mm-hmm. a nigga before that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's still like trauma that I have to deal with. But I love the fact that I'm at least aware of that because yeah. some people just go through life like this. And not even sitting the t- take, taking the time to sit with themselves and be like, this really did happen to right. me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, it makes you we open. Have this, it does. And it's important to be it open. Does. It, it makes you very open. And like that's why I appreciate the space right here because yeah. I feel like I'm so comfortable with y'all. Oh, good. And I could be vulnerable. That's really our favorite thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love I y'all love for this. That's yeah. our favorite thing. people didn't heard some shit they ain't never heard from me before. But I, I do appreciate having the space to even just sit with myself and be like, damn, this really did happen mm-hmm. to you. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But uh, it's important that one of the things that I try to tell myself is that I think my overall, so like my little tagline for myself is healing out loud mm-hmm. because I write, you know, a lot of the podcasts and stuff that I do, I have a second podcast that I do by myself. I do a lot of like, you know, woo woo shit. And I never want anybody to look at me like I'm a guru. I want people to know that when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself. Exactly. And one of the things mm-hmm. that, That's like, with, if I consider healing out loud to be my life's purpose and my intention, one of the things that I've started to realize is that every space and every situation I, I'm in is an opportunity to grow and heal. And so, if this person was brought into my life and he a fuck nigga and he sucks or whatever, there's something I can still gain from that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. In the moments that I'm like, it teaches you how to love yourself more. It does. That is and the, that's what I just I learned in this last situation. <laughs> Y'all don't even understand what the fuck I just went through. But yeah, it really taught me, like, bitch, you that bitch. Like, exactly. yeah. love it's yourself you. from you. the top to the bottom. Yes. And I love something else when you were saying, like, you have to acknowledge... I really went through this. I really went through something. Yes. And I think that people, men and women, yep. have a habit of when it's relationship trauma. Scaling it down. Yeah, yep. like you want to you wanna just shake it off. You want to be like, I ain't tripping Fuck off that up. bitch. I ain't worried about that nigga. You <laughs> but know? it affected but it's you. Important. Yes. It's important to we be like, We have to no, stop minimizing the I things that hurt. have happened to yeah. us. All trauma is trauma. Come on, yeah. It's really important because that's the thing that, and, and we'll talk about that another time too, because on a on a psychological level, like in our act, the neurons in our fucking brain, yeah does not specify your trauma. Absolutely. So I'm looking at you. So it's been times that I've been in places and I've heard somebody speak their truth and been thankful that they trusted me enough. But I'll shut the fuck up because I'm like, damn, what they went through was, was like way. But that like, doesn't matter. But it's like my trauma is still, still trauma. Yeah. My, our, it's like, kind of like every sin is not bigger than the next. Exactly. I remember I had cut my finger and I had went to the doctor. Ooh. I it was hate a that part. Ass, that, I had oh, to get stitches. <laughs> that just mm. And I'm like, whatever. I went to the doctor and I'm like, oh, it ain't nothing but a little cut. He said, no, this this really, like, like my doctor it said, like, deep. it cut you. Like, this yeah. happened to you. Yeah. And they just took me back. Yes. Like, like acknowledge, this, this, a- a- acknowledge it. Acknowledging happened. our trauma exactly. is something that we need to do. We have yeah. to. Doesn't matter how big because or small we're not it is. Forward. If your mama yelled at you when you was five years old and told you you couldn't get them Skittles in that motherfucking grocery store and that hurt your feelings. And, and even more if she <laughs> called you a bitch in the midst of it. <laughs> Damn, Even yeah. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Bitch, no I'm skittles. I'm hollering at this. <laughs> Bitch, put the fucking skittles back. Ah, but no, shit. It happened. Like yeah. being yelled at is traumatizing. It is for a child. It, it really, really is. is. And so it's like that's real. And that's what I just want. Trauma if is anything trauma, we y'all. leave from this podcast, I want everybody to understand like. The smallest things that happen to you, they it, happen. It still happens. Yes. Yes. Before we wrap this Agreed. up, I do. I have to ask this question, and then we finna get out of here, cause cause Michael was doing this. <laughs> um, I want everybody to tell Tati, try your best. I want everybody to tell me your preferred porn category, porn? cause I feel like this changes. I feel like we, I feel like we've had this conversation <laughs> this <girl's> before. <laughs> But our, our preferred porn category. Our preferred porn category. <laughs> what are you go looking for? Were you like? Don't single me out. <laughs> no, no, no. Tati, Tati, you don't watch porn. I know you're not a porn girl. Okay. Not no, I don't. Okay. Not like. Okay. So I honestly first. just started watching porn, but. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited to hear. Well, that my thing. favorite category would probably be um, Ebony Lesbians. Oh, good oh girl. Yeah. yeah. I'm like uh, Ebony Lesbian girl. Like I really, that's all I it's really good watch. To, it's fun to, to watch because like I have a pussy, so it's like. 
excited to oh, see other pussies. Oh, I didn't even think about it. See like them that. trip and like how the pussy is. Come on, trip. Mm. I don't see, know. It's what that like means. a learning experience. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's like okay, yeah. yeah, I do like that. You can learn mm. a lot about your your body. I mean, Kevin Gates know a lot about pussies. He's a weirdo. Oh. He's oh. a weirdo. Oh. 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 Okay, let's not talk about it. Yeah, my God, that's another conversation. It brought down my whole energy. I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, Tati, what's your preferred porn card? If you went to go seek it out, what would you search? Uh, <laughs> about, I don't know. Just, come back to me. Come back to me. Let me think. She's such a good girl. She don't She's know. She's a bad Tomorrow, girl. She don't know. No, you want to <laughs> Can I say something? Can I can I say yeah, something okay. a little edgy about you? Mm-hmm. So the, way, the all of this that we're getting, I've always gotten from Tati. I'm like, okay, she's you know she's not approved by any means, but she's mm-hmm. very you know conservative. Mm-hmm. She's a classy girl. Mm-hmm. When you ask her her favorite position, we be like, what's your favorite position? Is oh, it? Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I actually don't know that. I gotta figure that out. Yes, oh, you do. You've been in the room. I don't feel like it's I, not. Is it I feel like I've heard no, it. it is not. No. 69. It's no. Megan the Stallion needs. She like being on top. Okay. And I always be so. I, <laughs> that's I'm not active. bad because I'm, baby, I'm 15 seconds on top and then that's all baby, you got for me. Baby, 14 at That's bitch. all you got for me. Well, probably five minutes. Oh, period. <laughs> yeah, it's a okay. whole show. It's a lot. You, gotta you, gotta do do you like being in control. Do you like being in control? Do. Mm-hmm. do you like being in control in a lot of assets of your life? Uh, I do, but but I think, but <laughs> I, I equally, when it comes to like my partner, I do, I equally like being, not being controlled, but I, I, I like equally like the dominance coming from like Got my you. partner too. And I think that's what makes the excitement of me being in control exciting because yes. it's like I'm controlling the my dominant. Yeah, right. you know, so it's like, right. I like it both, both ways. ways. I know that's right. Okay, yeah. wait, what's your porn category, Michael? Yes. My preferred porn category. Category. Um, well, as of lately, because I went to Dubai, <laughs> Ooh. I've been really watching a lot of, like, Arab. Really? <laughs> really? That's so interesting. Michael. Interesting. <laughs> That's I really hot. Have. It's so hot. So, wait, it's like, it's, I mean, I'm sure there is, but I just never thought about that. Only like, because. Arab gay stuff or Arab straight stuff? Gay stuff because really? it's because it's not it's, it's taboo because it's forbidden. Yeah, they're not supposed to do that. They're not there. supposed to not. Some of them are supposed to. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and not just like wow, that, that is that, sexy. that triggered my like oh I need to see what they doing though I know they doing right, it right they doing it and for I look sure. it up and then they doing it and oh, they was doing it I'm gonna look that up too <laughs> <laughs> like just like I thought I'm gonna be on Twitter like Arab gay <laughs> yes um, Arab sex I like cuckold I don't know what that what means what is that what is that. <laughs> This whole day has another learning experience. And cuckold is, so I think cuckolding is a thing, but I think that they call a cuck, a cuck or a cuckold a husband and wife. Oh, cuck. The husband I see. gets off by watching his wife get oh, fucked by other men. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got oh. it. Yeah, you want to know what's times. crazy? Because I used to um, date this dude. Not date. I used to be friends with this dude, and he used to be fixated with me fucking other people. And I used to be kind of uncomfortable with that. Yeah. I used to be like, like, I would talk to him about it because we were friends. But when it started getting to, like, what, like, yeah. I want to no, be yeah, busting sure. you and then I'm going to come eat you out type shit. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I was like, I don't think I like that. But on video, yeah. so it be sometimes, especially because yeah. it be, like, these Poindexter-ass white dudes, Ooh. like, these dudes like that's they the point deck. literally and they be like real fucking nerdy and lame and the wives be getting slammed by some big huge fucking black, black dude. guy right. yeah, and the wife just be like telling her husband like he's so much bigger than you you've never been this deep <laughs> like literally <laughs> so like he'll be sitting so like they're on the bed the husband is sitting in a chair across Watching. from them and, he's and she'll off. be like you've never been this deep in me you could never get this deep and it's just he like love, but he loves and it. he, he loves, loves it he's eating it up and even and wow. even as far as like um like eating the other dudes come like they oh, make, my God. they make the Whoa. husband. I mean, your friend wanted to do that. He did want to do that, <laughs> like, but, but that's what. But those were the things that, like, in my personal life, made me uncomfortable. But I like to see it, and I think that that's a. I think that's a trend for me. Yeah, there are things that I never ever want to do in real life, but I like to watch to it see a lot. It. Yeah, that, but that's what I'm saying as well. You don't want to do Arab guys. You do. 
Yeah, I do. So you said you said you do. I do. I do. Anyway, well, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Yes. Diamond, you have been a joy. She's and a been pleasure. fantastic. Diamond yeah, Dosis, everybody. I want, everybody. I want to take from this conversation, like, thank you so much. Yes. To ladies you. and Michael in the back. You yes. guys have been so welcoming, so warm, and just made me feel so safe in this space. You can come here. You love can come back anytime. No, love the conversation. This house is beautiful, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love the conversation that Thanks we had. <laughs> like, y'all have taught me so much, and oh. I'm just really grateful. So. I love that. I, I, yes. I could cry. Make sure y'all follow me, though. Yes. Yes. I, was no <laughs> I, I was just like, I was about to say, tell We're going to ask you regardless. You. Yes. Yes. Uh, follow me at Diamonds Doses on Instagram and yes. the Doses brand on Twitter. And yes. check out check out what I have going on. My podcast is um, it's a little different, but mm-hmm. I, I I want to take some things from this podcast Love actually that. and put it into mine. But yeah, Love thank that. you guys. Thank you yes. for coming. We Heavy so emphasis much. on the Dosage brand on Twitter because the girl Heavy. does her thing. Okay. Heavy Love it. Thank it. y'all so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank y'all so much for continuing to watch and doing all the things that you've always done. Please continue to Continue along. <laughs> Please continue to follow us on all the places where we can be followed. You can follow us at Away With Words, the podcast on Instagram, and you can follow me there at Brie.Stories and at Brie underscore stories on TwitTwat, and you can follow at A Tati on Instagram and at Hey Tati on TwitTwat. And please <laughs> don't play yourself by not following at MJM Kid and at Moments underscore Stu because you just should. Okay? Yep, just should. We love you so much, and we'll talk to y'all later. Everybody say bye. Bye. bye.